Well damned. The, the day that I decide to trust the setup, go in with all five contracts, it was a pretty big fair value gap. So I had to have my stop pretty far out there. And I'm like, you know what? Just trust it. Uh, just go in. Um, that's the day we have to learn another hard lesson. I'm pretty sure, I mean, looking in hindsight, analyzing the, what the market was telling us, I see like where I went wrong, why that setup wasn't the one to, to use. Um, and then there were indications that the market's turning around and I go over that after the trade. So make sure you watch that part. If you are trying to learn ICT's methods, uh, with me, um, cause that's basically what I'm doing. I just happen to have gotten lucky and have a funded account, um, which we have a 50 K funded account with apex trader real quick. They still have 80% off all of their accounts for the rest of this month. So make sure you use that coupon and link in the description to get one of those. If it's after may you get 50% off. So go ahead and jump on the 80% off while you can. Um, we're trading five micro NASDAQ contracts at a time. Unfortunately, because all five of those today were a loss. Um, at first, yeah, it sucked. But once I got over those feelings of this was a loss, coming to the conclusion, this is where I'm stopping for the day. I'm down enough. I feel pretty good about reading the market. Um, the more we read the market and analyze it on good or bad trades, the better we're going to be analyzing and reading the market while we're in the trades and, and hunting for trades. So overall, I feel pretty good about that. A huge difference from just three weeks ago when a red day like this would send me in a tailspin and I'd start tilting and revenge trading. And I don't feel the need to do that. The market told me what it was doing and I just read it wrong and that's it. Uh, next time we'll be a little that much more prepared for days like that. And I will be able to catch these um, like market structure shifts and we will be able to take advantage of that and take money from the market. So I'm confident in that and I hope you all uh, just learn to think like that. It's so much more relaxing and less stressful than freaking out on red days. So I don't know. Enjoy the trades. Thank you guys for your support as always. And talk to you later. We probably could have shorted this fair value gap up here. This bar. Five minutes after 10. Hopefully we get some continued down movement. I want to see a gap down here though. I uh, wasn't. I had the charts pulled up. When this was occurring, wasn't really paying attention because I got stuck on a work phone call and didn't want to make a bad decision while uh, trading and not fully paying attention because we've seen that happen before and it, done, it didn't work out in my favor. Plus, I needed to scale down if I took this. Um, we would have needed to withstand like 60 points of drawdown. I don't. Didn't really want to take that. Not with five contracts. I wouldn't even want to take that with one micro. So that's just wasn't a trade for me with our account size. I'd much rather wait for this. I'm going to trade short this fair value gap. Uh, wait for it to come up to like 930. Then we're just going to go for it. Going to sell it. We're going to short it here. Nine twelve. Kind of have to hold on if it wants, if it does go up into there, but. If we take out these stops, those are next. Like I was saying, between 800 and 820. And then after that, 
into the 700s. But we'll see. Now that I'm in a trade, I'm going to start second guessing if this is the fair value gap to be shorting or of course we're going to get some bullish ones. Two minute. That one broke this swing high. Come down, retest. I mean, I think we do go back up into this. So you could probably win, win either way. Not looking good, boys. Dollar, dollars tanking. I'm going to just try to try to trust it though. I mean, that's a huge, huge downward move with a fair value gap breaking these. Um, so I would expect some continued, some continued moves. If we got that same gap breaking these lows, it would take us out down here, but gonna put this up here my goal is to get a hundred points out of this so if that works got a hundred and we and we risked 50 kind of hard though to ignore this move breaking that swing high but obviously like this move was strong this it looks stronger it was probably a bad idea because this move right here we came up and the move down did not even make new lows and then we start getting fair value gaps towards the upside um the little one right here breaking swing high and then another one here breaking a swing high those two I would think should tell me we have a shift in market structure this one's not gonna feel good I don't even want to look at it I swear to God, if it does not reach the top of this candle and then we tank, I'm going to be pissed. All right, it broke it. That one's not fun. So, why did this not work out? This setup formed like way back at 930. There were a couple of opportunities to get in. Um... But seeing all these five minute candles, none of them made new lows. And on the lower time frames, we had fair value gaps breaking swing highs, indicating that we're moving up. We have one at the very bottom of the chop on Make this bigger. This is the two minute chart. We have like this little tiny one right here. Not much, but it is a, it is a gap and it is breaking this swing high. 
I think with conviction because uh like what 15 points there and then we broke it by 15 points chop around and then we have another fair value gap breaking this swing high With an opportunity to get in to go long so could have gone long down here at 906 almost 100 points could have gone long here at 867 869 100 points i didn't take those so here's a gap but we're not breaking any swings that's why those two worked I did not take these because this one seemed so, this one seemed like it was going to be calling the shots and we never, I mean on the two minute we never came up here until we were getting in. The only time that we did come up to the entry was right here and the move down did not break that so we could have gotten in here targeting here and then once you realize it's not going to be making new lows you can exit uh so i need to keep that in mind of course this all happened on the day that i was like i'm going big i'm going in with all five contracts this is a huge move and it doesn't work out, so we had to pay the price. We also need to not take a setup if there has already been an entry for that setup. So like this, like just like what I was saying with this move, I mean, that, that was an entry right there that would have netted 50 points. That's kind of like my, I want to get to the, I want to reach a point where I am trading uh and typically taking 50 points of profit on my trades i don't know why i just it's a nice even num a nice even number 50 points is a lot on the nasdaq and it moves that much and we could have taken it even though i was targeting uh like 100 points on that 50 is plenty And moving the stops as this moved 50 points probably would have gotten at least 30 to 40 anyways. But besides that, this was the entry. With it coming back up, shouldn't have tried to take it again. I've seen where that has worked. Like it's given us like two or three entries. But if the first one doesn't, if we don't get in on the first one, we need to just ignore that setup completely and start looking for other opportunities maybe wait for another fair value gap to the downside or what we saw on the one and two minute charts were shifts in market structure this one would have been best because that's a that's a big swing high and breaking through it with the gap and an entry point right there, 906. At our largest loss, what are you gonna do? Um, well, what we're gonna do is recognize what we did wrong, which that's what we did, and we're gonna come back tomorrow with an even better understanding than what we came in today with. So, Let me know how you guys did today. Um, if you guys are trading ICT strats, uh, did you catch this move to the upside? Because I believe that's probably the silver bullet trade right here on the two minute.
kind of threw me off guard because his video the other day said like the setup didn't have to be between 10 and 11 a.m just the entry so that's why i talked myself into getting in on this one even though this one would have been better and would have netted 50 points it did not come down and take out any stops down here but still that would have been a i think it would have been a valid trade i don't think that would have been the silver bullet trade i think this two minute chart was the silver bullet trade right here buying at 9 904 906 came down took out these lows obviously and then that's the indication that the market's going to want to go up here's the gap retest and then go up and take out these highs So, could sit around and look for another opportunity, but I am not risking any more than what we gave up today. So, that's going to be it for me. Nice even 500 bucks. No big deal. I'll see you all after tomorrow's trading session.